Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel that I created for all teachers out there who are looking for some educational videos and teaching tips to help manage their paperwork and of course provide their students a 21st ways of uh, teaching and experience for them. So please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't uh, already done so and also please click the notification bell so that you'll be updated in upcoming videos. So today I'm going to share with you my very first Video, and I will be discussing about the different tools or applications that teachers could maximize in you know, making their quizzes, for example, or delivering their lessons. Since alam naman natin na tayo mga teachers are required for your classroom observation. And these tools that I'm going to introduce to you are really helpful for you to be able to get the job done. So let's get started. And um, I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, but I will be giving some bonus websites as well, which all of you are already aware of. So let's start off from the applications that I am using sa paggawa ng mga quizzes ko, even in my uh, classroom observation. So the very first one is the Kahoot. So of course, since Ayaw naman natin nagbabaya tayo ng premium. So, we'll just have to be a free subscriber for this um, application. So, you can also download the mobile application through your um, Google Play Store or App Store if you're using Apple products. So, ano ba tong ano na to? Ano ba tong application na to? O yung website na to? So, this is actually used... Kung gusto mong gumawa ng mga interactive uh, questionnaires or interactive reviewers or even formative and summative tests for your uh, students. So, pag nakikita ninyo dito, I already have several questions that I created. So, most of which were actually during the classroom observation. So, ano gagawin nyo pag bago kayo dito sa science? You'll just have to sign up. You'll just have to sign up for this website. Tapos, just click on the free registration para kagawa kayo ng inyong mga uh, questions. So, what's good about this website is um, as long as you are connected to the internet, hindi ka naman mong problema na magpaprint ka pa ng mga handouts or uh, test papers for your uh, learners. Ang kagandahan nito ay maliban sa an uh, interactive siya, uh, collaborative pa siya. Pwede mo siyang gawing group um, group quiz or group activity. As long as, of course, yung mga learners mo ay may mga devices, cellphone silang sarili, para may magamit sila and, of course, may Wi-Fi dapat para maka-connect sila and maka-participate. Paano tayo gumawa ng, uh, ano, ng mga test of questions dito sa uh, Kahoot na to? So, pag naka-sign in na po kayo using your account, so just click on the create button and then create. So, here, what's good about this is napaka-flexible po niya. So, pwede kang gumawa ng kahit anong uh, type of questions. It might be mathematical or mga equations kunwari or English or history. So, any subjects, it caters um, to a lot of subjects. But before that, of course, lagyan mo muna siya ng title kung ano yung, let's say for example, Araling Panlipunan or kung anong specific um, title nung inyong uh, quiz para hindi kayo malito. And then once you already created a title, so just create your first question. So you have 120 characters uh, question mo. So hindi siya suitable for kunwari, uh, reading comprehension kasi 120 20 characters lang siya. So very limited. So short uh, questions will do. And then where you have that option for the timer. Diba, para at least may konting thrill, uh, magiging interactive siya at the same time um, exciting. Lagyan nyo siya ng timer para may excite yung mga bata ninyo while playing this. And then, of course, yung choices, pag nakikita nyo yung apat, yung choices, but it doesn't necessarily mean na fill out mo yung apat. So if you only have uh, choices like true or false, then you can just fill uh, fill out the two options there. It doesn't matter. Kasi pag um, linash mo na siya, 
hindi naman lalabas itong dalawang options na ito. Then, if you have other questions, you can just uh, click on add questions. What I'm usually doing is, para mas mapadali is, i-duplicate ko na lang siya. Du duplicate mo ito. Ayan. Duplicate mo siya. And, bago lang po ako mag, ano, tayo dito, mag-proceed, pag kunwari naglagay ka na ng yes, ng option, no, maybe, Ayan. So, make sure to always mark the correct answer here. Ayan. Pag minark mo na siya, pwede ka na mag-proceed uh, sa next question mo. Kasi if not, pag uh, sign out mo later on or pag save mo, magkaroon ka pa rin ng error kung ano pa yung kulang mo doon na hindi mo na sa iyong question. Alright. So, that's it about Kahoot. When once finished, you can just click on done here. And then, the other one is quizzes. So, this is very similar to Kahoot because I also have the flexibility to create whatever questions. And in my case, meron po ako ditong Araling Panlipunan in English. So, if you're familiar about the DepEd Commons, one of the contributors there. So, I contributed um, Araling Panlipunan question uh, reviewers for fourth grading as well as um, English reviewers for grade four. Ayan, so makita niyo yung pangalan ko. So, ganun din, if you would like to make a new quiz, then just click on the plus here. Ito yung link na to na create a new quiz. Ayan. Ayan, tapos mamili na kayo dyan kung ano yung kung gusto nyo, ano, mathematics, ayan. And then, next. But prior to that, of course, ganun din sa kahoot. Kailangan nyo din mag-sign up. So, I usually uh, use my DepEd email kasi sometimes, you know, other websites are asking for your work or your organization email. So, ginagamit yung De DepEd email ko. Again, just like I mentioned earlier, kung ayaw mo namang gumawa, you can also use this website as your visual aid, for example. Because there are a bunch of uh, pre-made questionnaires or qu quizzes already. So, you will just have to select per subject. So, if you, for example, are teaching mathematics, then you can just use, see the uh, quizzes. Same thing if you are teaching English and language and arts, social studies, science, computer science, etc. So there are also uh, arts-related uh, questionnaires. So very, ano siya, very helpful po siya. So again, the name of this uh, website is Quizzes, and it also goes with a mobile application. So you could already download it on uh, Google Play Store or App Store. Okay, that's it. There you go. Ayan. So ano pa ba yung mga gamit nito? So pwede ka rin magamit ng, ayan, pwede ka mag-create ng class mo through right now since naka-enhanced community quarantine tayo. So, kung gusto natin mag-conduct ng online class, then we can do so. Because pwede mo siyang isync dun sa iyong Google Classroom. So, pwede mo siyang i-connect wherein you can conduct your classes there virtually and your students can see quizzes that you've made for them. At pwede mo rin mag-set ng deadline kung kailan nila dapat ipasa yung mga quizzes na yon or mga worksheets na yun. Alright. So, that's quizzes. And the next one is um, Quiver. This one, Quiver app. So, ang Quiver may mobile app din po siya. Ano naman itong ano ng Quiver app? This is um, most likely for um, arts teacher because um, yung application na to is for coloring wherein magda-download ka ng mga coloring uh, materials for your students and then once uh, they're done, you can download the mobile app at scan mo yung mga colored ano, outputs nila. Tapos magta-transform siya into 3D. So, ang kagandahan nito ay parang magkaroon ng uh, ano, virtual reality experience yung mga estudyante nyo. Napaka-engaging po nito, especially for lower grade uh, pupils. They will get hooked to it and uh, engage. That's Quiver app. And the next one is Scrabble. So I know that one of the most tiring thing to do for teachers is to, you know, to make your own or to design your own um, activity sheets or activity materials for your uh, learners, right? But with the help of this website, it's called edu, edugames.org. Um, 
mapapadali po yung buhay natin as teachers because as you can see here, there are uh, links where you can just use which template suits your need. For example, I want to use a uh, Scrabble. Ayan, Scrabble. So, mag-generate ako na template ng Scrabble. What's good about it is napaka-flexible din po siya because you can also use your own words para gumawa ka ng sarili mong Scrabble or you could use the list of Scrabble puzzles below. Okay? Kasi, syempre, since these are pre-made ng iba ding mga kaguruan, limited uh, lang po yung mga topics na andito. So, if you are to customize your own, then better yet, um, compose your own questions or make your own words para generate ka ng sarili mong uh, puzzle. Let's say, for example, magagawa ko ng um, Scrabble words. Let's say... Yung mga vocabularies, for example. Enthusiastic. That's energetic. So, once you type the words here and press enter, automatic na po siyang nag-degenerate yung letters na kakailangan na sa Scrabble mo. And then, what's good about it is it also came with um, an instructions. Ayan. Pwede mo siyang i-print out here. Pwede mo siyang download the word puzzle or download using the PDF. Or pwede mo din siyang i-export sa Excel file mo. Port ka ng Excel file or export Excel file. So, napaka-flexible po siyang gamitin. And not only that, not only Scrabble, yung magagawa mo dito, maraming pang mga word ladder, word search maker. Ito yung maganda yung word search na to. Kasi, di ba, isa din to sa mga napaka-engaging na activities na pwede nating ibigay sa ating mga estudyante. So, just like uh, the other template earlier, pwede ka rin maglagay ng sarili mong title kung ano gusto mo. And then, mag-type ka ng mga, ng mga word kung are brave, slave. And then, may option ka dito kung anong directions dapat nila pwedeng hulaan yung mga words. Okay? And then, you also have to download it through Word or um, PDF para i-print out mo kunwari if you don't have any projector or kung wala kang ibang device. So, that's edugames.org. And, pahabol pa pala. So, those are only word games. So, here on top, there, there are other different tabs on top. So, may mga sentence games, math games, board games, online games. You could explore it yourself para mas malaman mo pa kung ano yung mga nilalaman ng mga yun. And then, the other one is uh, lj.org. So, ito naman yung template for crossword puzzle. So, pwede kang magawa dyan ng iyong sariling crossword puzzle. Ayan. So, mamili ka dito ng mga crossword puzzles. It's already pre-made. So, ipiprint out mo na lang yung pattern as well as the clues. Let's say, for example, we'll try the very common words number one. So, consists of 18 words. And then, mas maganda itong laruin online because once the student click the link, May hyperlink po siya kung saan magbibigay siya ng uh, word, hint. Ayan, may enter kung sasagot ka na, tapos hint. So, that is iteslj.org yung pangalan ng website. So, but I will also be putting it uh, on the description below so that it's easier for you to you know, go to the respective websites that I've introduced to you. Those are actually the helpful applications na, na pwede natin gamitin. So, I'm going now websites or web portals. These are also educational web portals na pwede ninyong i-access anytime kahit your, your account. So, since I've already created accounts, so this website is Khan Academy. So, they have various topics here but most of, mostly, yung mga topics nila is about mathematics or math-related topics. So, these courses here. So, mathematics, mostly mathematics content. They also have science and engineering. They have math, uh, b mathematics by grade, and they have arts and humanities. So, those are just uh, some. Ayun, let's say, for example, I'm teaching grade 4. So, I will pick 4th grade. And then, dyan na po magpapopulate yung mga mathematics topics nila na pwede minyong um, kuha na ng mga video tutorials kung ayaw mo magturo kunwari but of course I'm not encouraging you not to teach kasi tawag dito neglect of duty rather neglect of duty kasi nandun ka sa school hindi ka na magtuturo of course so 
Kung gusto mong puntahan yung mga topics na to, just click on each topic kasi hyperlink naman siya. So, pag click mo yan, lalabas na yan dyan yung mga ano, pwede ka rin mag-start ng quiz once uh, tapos na yung mga bata mo manood, kunwari ng tutorial videos. So, ito yung mga tutorial videos. Click mo lang yan, tapos magpiplay na sila. Then, if you want them to practice, then just click on the practice exercises that are already provided. And then, once they've already mastered the skill, that's the time that, you know, you, you can give them uh, quizzes. Napaka-helpful ko itong Khan Academy. I've been using this website for several years already. Kahit pa nung nandun ako nagtuturo sa Thailand, I've already make use of this website. Napaka-helpful po siya. At napaka-detailed ng, ano, parang ano siya, matdali, parang ganun. Yun nga lang, sa matdali, yung content nila is Tagalog. But here in uh, Khan Academy, since this is foreign-owned, ano, English yung mga content nila. But at least, di ba, nasasana yung ating mga estudyante. Okay, so that's again, canacademy.org. And the other one is, this is the very recent uh, one that I've actually discovered. So this is VOOX. So the VOOX website is intended for both teachers and uh, students. So primarily, ano ba kinikater ni VOOX? So yung website na to is for English animated stories. Yung mga theme stories natin. Ayan o, oh, kung makikita ninyo, my price po siya. $4.99 up to $49.99. So, uh, $4.99 for subscriptions and $49.99 for yearly subscription. But since they are very um, kind and generous for teachers like us, so nabigay sila ng one-year free subscription for all teachers. Okay, ito yung link. Ikiklik nyo lang itong link na to para mag-sign up po kayo. Right. website just input your um, information so for email address i would suggest na you also have to use your debit email kasi po para may ano sila eh, para may verification process sila that would take two hours before they will um, approve your access so better yet use your organization or your work email rather than your regular gmail accounts ayan so after you've already signed up click submit tapos may matatanggap ka ng message dun sa imong sa imo sa yung email or gmail na sinign up tapos dun nila sabihin sa iyo na your account is under verification process and will take uh, two hours or so yeah so for example ayun na nakatanggap na kayo na activate na yung account niyo and you are already free to access the contents for a year ayan so eto na kunwari so magla-log in up tayo since uh, mayroon na akong account Okay, start watching. But I will be teaching you the detailed tutorial for this. So, ayan na po yung sa loob ng VOOX. Kung makikita ninyo, kasi nag-grant na po, na bigyan na po ako free access for one year. So, I already have access to all of these storybooks, animated English story videos. Ayan. And it, it ranges from different um, topics. Ayan, meron siyang biographies, meron siyang... Um, be brave, meron siyang theme for animals, meron din siyang theme for uh, friendship, kindness, and if you are teaching preschool learners, you also have, you know, all these videos that you can use. Be creative, and for elements, also have options here. And then, another other th themes are be kind, be you, little princess, bad time stories, dream big, and many, many more. So, napaka-useful po nito sa atin kasi before we start our lesson, for example, we are discussing some topic, then we could pull out some uh, videos here and let our learners um, watch and then let them reflect. Diba? Hindi na tayo yung spoon feeding na lang na palagi na lang natin i um, bibigay sa kanila yung mga kailangan nilang lessons. They have to practice critical thinking sa pamamagitan ng pagre-reflect dun sa mga videos na pinapanood natin. And then, our role as a teacher will just be facilitators. So, ayan, napaka-helpful po nitong looks na ito. And this is first time uh, to use this website. Nakita ko lang siya when I am browsing the internet writing my blog about 21st century teaching. Ayan, so that's all about looks. So, another thing is uh, clickers. Ano naman yung tinatawag natin clickers? Yung clickers is very similar to Kahoot and quizzes. You can also create and make your, customize your own test. So, ang kagandahan nito ay pwede kang magkaroon ng virtual, um, virtual class 
with your learners kasi may option siya to add learners. So, let's say, for example, let's start off from making, ayan, i-click mo lang yung new sets pag gagawa ka ng questions mo. Ayan. So, mag-type ka ng questions mo dyan. Choices. But if you opt for true or false exam, then just click on this option here to change the default type of quiz that you want. Pwede ka rin mag-import ng iyong questions. Let's say, for example, may mga questions ka na doon sa may Word documents mo or sa Excel file, na naka-Excel file. Just like, import it here para hindi ka na mag-type pa isa-isa ng question mo. Okay? And you also have the option kung gusto mo graded ba itong test na ito or it will just uh, be like a survey. So, yan. Tapos, balik tayo dito. Paano na yung sinasabi ko nina mag-create ng class? So, uh, as you can see here, I've already created one class. So, but pag gusto nyo pang dagdagan, since marami kunwari kayong tinuturo ang class, eh, just click on new class and then enter another for SSC. Yeah, and then create class. So, pag tapos mo ng create class dyan, pwede ka mag-add ng students mo. So, you can add uh, as many as 60 students. So, add mo lang yan. Tapos, at kagandahan dito, Pwede mo siyang kopyahin galing sa inyong SF1 or SF2 yung mga list ng inyong students. At i-paste mo lang dito and then Pabanja, uh, Kapule, ayan. Let's say kung nari dyan mga names. Pwede mo siyang i-ano dito at i-paste. Ayan. So, andyan na siya. Or kung gusto mo nang paisa-isa, pwede ka namang mag-type. Ayan. Pero, mas mabilis yung copy and paste. And then after that, you'll just have to click yes or enter on your computer keyboard. Ayan, so yung mga ginagamit kong mga online resources sa paggagawa ng aking mga test or quizzes, formative or summative uh, assessments, as well as ginagamit ko rin siya para sa aking COT. Kasi of course, ICT integration is one of the areas na minimeasure tayo during class observation. So this is already ICT integration advanced kasi there's already a manipulation from the learners. Diba? So... That's it, guys. I hope uh, you're able to learn something out of uh, from this video. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And please invite your friends to also subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much and see you again on my next video.